Hey, it's just up here. For a while, I had not reviewed laptops all that much, but recently there's been a flood of laptops showing in my studio. So this one is no other than MSI laptop. And let's get it unboxed and get it tested so I can review this. So normally when I receive a laptop, I usually go through a unboxing and first impression type of video just to kind of see the physicality of the device and then later on follow with a full review. And there's a usually a short term in between and during that I ask if I can get some questions or comments regarding the laptop so I can kind of benchmark it and test a couple things accordingly. So if you have any questions or comments about this laptop just let me know by leaving comments down below I'll be sure to have that address during my full benchmark and testing anyways without further ado I got these two white packages inside of this brown box and I assume this is gonna be charging so normal power cable with a charging brick Quite a typical size and wattage as well as it is 230 watt. So today's video is actually about MSI Creator 15 and I understand the overall physicality would probably be the same as the last one. It's just that everything inside has been revised to the most updated hardware that's available. Therefore, it is going to be more performant from what I understand. And there's a slight surprise, but we'll have to see. Okay, laptop with a uh, typical manual stuff. And then in here would be the MSI's laptop. And then it's got usually this black cloth between the screen and the keyboard. Overall design is pretty much same as the previous one. It is looking a lot darker than what I'm used to. So I guess this is more of a black than I think it was space gray that they had. And actually, usually in the box, it tells you the spec of the device. Creator 15 A 11 UE. The color is black, 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 black. So it is very black. LED panel or the monitor for this laptop is 15.6 inches. UHD, so 4K. And then anti-glare IPS level 60 Hertz screen. And the CPU is Intel Core i7 11800H processor. So it is the 11th gen. And then VGA or the graphics card is GeForce RTX 3060. And the hard drive or I guess the drive is 512 gigabytes SSD. I'm assuming it is NVMe with the PCI 4th gen and the RAM is DDR4 16 gigabytes two sticks of 8 gigabytes RAM and then there's obviously the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo the battery life is 99.99 watt hour battery but that's what's stated on the spec so overall yes it is definitely looking more black than what i'm used to and just looking around so over here is the headphone jack usb-c port over here 10 gigabit and then usb type a 10 gigabit as well and then a ethernet port going around usually we don't see anything here here is a dc power jack and then Thunderbolt port, USB-C type, and then full-size HDMI port. And then also another 10 gigabit USB type A with a power LED indicator on this side. And on the back, nothing usually other than it stating the Creator 15 written here. And then on the bottom, typical layout, perforated panel with a couple of feet. And yeah, nothing unusual here other than the color change. So with that, let's go ahead and open the laptop. As it is all black, I'm kind of liking it. I'm more of a person who 
has a lot of black devices and I actually thought so and it did not state on the box but the display itself is OLED I don't know if you can see it on the camera let's try to lay this flat so you guys could see it here it says the screen is OLED true pixel display 4k play HDR 500 true black and then 100% DCI P3 and then Delta E less than 2 true color display so based on that I'm expecting the color to be very accurate as well as looking very nice on a 4k display of OLED I've seen a lot of laptops with 15 inch OLED screens and they tend to look very very good however it is gonna have some drawback in terms of the battery life as the computer needs to push all 4k's as well as sort of the brightness of the OLED display so that is gonna be something that I need to benchmark in terms of the battery life testings and its performance but that is something for me to see in terms of the keyboard layout nothing unusual that jumps out the usual wide trackpad that I always kind of complain about but it is there it does feel nice just like always and then the slits for the speakers on the either side here it says Dynaudio or Dy D Y N audio I don't know what that is I'm gonna have to look that up and here it says steel series I don't know what that means I guess they kind of helped out in terms of the overall design I'm also seeing that logo on one of the keyboards on F9 key so I'm gonna have to see what that is the font on the keys kind of have changed from what I'm used to so I'm understanding that as steel series kind of did implementation of this I'm gonna have to check out the marketing sheet for this I don't think the actual layout has changed however the font and the style for the keys have changed Overall, nothing to complain. Something that I have noticed is the fact that fingerprint sensor is no longer in place on the trackpad. Although it's seeming like it has a Windows IR camera for you to sign in biometrically if you care for those things. And the MSI logo is still down here. I think that might have changed a little. I'm not entirely sure. But that's about it in terms of the overall internals. One thing I do want to complain about the overall color and the design is the fact that the short time that I have handled this device, there's fingerprint all over. It's kind of hard to avoid that with a black, black device. But I just thought I would note that to you. You may not care all that much about it. You just gotta wipe it off every now and then to get rid of this. So also something for me to test later is the fact that this Type-C connector is capable of charging the laptop or not. And although it says over here a charging icon is on the USB Type-C port, I'm not entirely sure how well it charges, so I'm gonna have to test that as well. All Creator 15 series have been able to charge with some meaningful amount of power delivery, so I really like that. So I definitely will put that to the test. If you have any questions or things that you are wondering about this laptop for any of the professional workflows, then just please let me know down in the comment. I'll be happy to look at those aspects in a later review and a benchmark video. And if you have liked this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel so you can watch that video later on as well. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time. Bye.